So I decided to do a special reaction for the month of October, which is the month of Halloween. And, uh, um, I was going to do Barney's Halloween party, but that's currently on DVD, and I'm afraid I might get a copyright strike if I react to that. So I'm gonna react to a Teletubbies episode. Yes, my first Teletubbies reaction video. Sorry if the volume's a little too loud. But yeah. Um... Yeah, I was going to do a Barney reaction today, but I just didn't feel like it. And uh, today's Teletubbies episode is Seesaw. I probably should have done uh, the Magic Pumpkin, but this one I felt was more necessary because it's a scary episode. And scary is what Halloween's all about. Four. Dipsy is the missing Teletubby. I feel like every time that happens, it's like some sort of bad luck curse, because most of the episodes where that happens usually are such awful episodes, to be honest. Oh, I forgot to adjust the speed. Damn it. Time for Teletubbies. Time for Teletubbies. Tinky Winky! Dipsy! Dipsy. 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 I'm sorry, I've seen like a video where something like that happens. Hello! Hello! Dipsy! Dipsy! Big hug! Oh my god, this is so weird. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm making such a fool of myself when reacting to this. I used to love the show when I was little. Oh, oh, sorry about that, there was a stupid advertisement. There's probably gonna be a lot more later on. I'm so sorry, I'm probably gonna have to pause this when that happens, but don't worry. I used to love the show when I was little. I watched it on home video, and I also, uh... Every time I was off school, like, or, like, at home, staying home, I would always watch it whenever it came on. Yeah, like, I wouldn't miss it at all. But, yeah. I actually got to see quite a few episodes of the show when I was not at school or daycare. But this episode, I don't think I've ever seen. Oh my god, this is all stock footage. This is literally all stock footage from past episodes. Uh oh. Why is the windmill playing the Magical Vent tune? I have no idea. But they're watching a TV event instead. Oh my god, I love this music. But the windmill sound just stopped. Up uh, now it's back on. Most episodes would play different sound when the TV event starts, but here just plays the magical vent tune. I don't know why. Oh my god. What is going on, though? I guess the reason why the windmill plays the magical vent tune, even though TV event is starting, Probably because something to do with the fact that this is the first episode to feature a new segment that we'll get to later. Oh my god. We know your names already. You don't have to say them again. Oh, there's another ad. I'll pause this. 
pay. Oh, Dipsy. Oh, oh, no. oh, Dipsy. oh my god. What? Uh oh. They don't say hello. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a musical performance. So yeah, this is a, a recurring uh, guest star on the show. King Pleasure and the Biscuit Boys, these guys would perform their own versions of various nursery rhymes. In this episode, they're singing a song by Seesaw. This is so catchy. Oh my god. I hate the actual song, though. In fact, a later episode uh, in the series, one of the last episodes of the show, would have a segment where a seesaw actually appears in Teletubby Land, and the vo voice trumpet would sing a song about it. Yeah, why didn't they feature that in this episode? Oh my god, I know the words to the song. Oh my god. <laughs> I sound just like him. Oh my god, I should have reacted to Hickory Dickory Doc. That's, that one's my favorite one. There's really not that much in this episode about seesaws. I mean, like, this is just so weird though. I mean, the opening scene, this them go on a slide, which I guess you see at a playground, which is also where you see a uh, seesaw. The TV event is just a guy singing about a seesaw. And you know what? To make things better, I'm going to skip part of this episode so I don't, like, run out of room or something on my storage, apparently. In each episode, in most episodes of the show, when the TV event is over, it plays again, but I'm going to skip the second time it plays. It's just, like, to make this shorter, because I want this to be a shorter reaction than usual. So, yeah. Yeah, like, where's the seesaw in this TV event? I feel like there should be a seesaw shown, like two kids riding on one. I mean, there was one in the one Barney episode when the kids were singing about a seesaw. Seesaw up and down, which is the way to London Town. Yeah, remember that song. What two seesaw songs? What? They're gonna play it again. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh... Whoa. Well, that was scary. <laughs> why the baby's face in the sun? I just wanna know why. I always love these opening shots they show before each segment, because it shows, like, different spots in Teletubby Land. Some of these spots would be, uh, used as a setting for some segments. Like, I remember one time there was this path, and apparently it's the same one where, uh, Dipsy was being chased by Lala when it was his turn to wear the skirt. I wish I were kidding when I said that. What? What's going on? Um, please don't do that again. She's counting to three in Cantonese. That's what. I've seen Poe, like, count to, like, five or something in English, though. Like, one time in the later series. In a later episode. But, yeah. Uh-oh, she's stuck on the slide. Great, now the episode's over. What up with the slide, though? Why do they sometimes go up the slide? Oh, uh, what now? The windmill's gonna stop spinning? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! It's another TV event. 
I mean, listen to the music. Hey, uh, the windmill wasn't shown casting out pink sparkles there, but now here it is. So yeah, another TV event. Well, actually, believe it or not, this is a magical event, and a very unusual one as well. So yeah, there are different magical events where something appears from far away and the teletubbies watch as perform something. But here... It's the bear. It's the bear. And I'm coming. Oh god! That sounds scary. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, there was already a magical event involving a bear. So why is there another one? I mean, seriously, look at this. I'm the bear. I'm the bear. Why, why, why she do, do this? Be honest, I never thought this magical event was cre creepy or scary. I think the, the uh, uh, Chinese version is scary because the way they talk. Hmm. Hide over here. Oh. And I hide over there. Can you see me? Yeah, I know every single word to this magical event. This is just so weird, though. If you think that's confusing, wait until you see the ending to this episode. And I'm not talking about, like, Tubby Bye Bye, which is something they do at the end of every episode. I mean, like, what happens before they do that. Yeah, apparently. I'm hiding from the light. We know that you're the bear with brown fuzzy hair. He doesn't know where. Shh. Don't shush me. Uh. What's going on? Oh no! Oh god! Oh my god, it's so loud that it makes the trees blow in the wind. Like, the clouds are moving as well. Oh my god. Oh. Did you hear Tinky Winky screaming just now? Oh my god. Scary on top and underneath. Scary around the front and scary around the back. I cannot believe he just said that. You see, this segment was banned in some countries because kids thought it was too scary. And while this was never shown in the PBS version of the series, which is the one I used to watch, Mike Daycare actually had a puzzle as well as a memory game that had pictures of the lion and bear. I swear they did, apparently. Oh my god, it's true, they actually had that. I had no idea this was banned, though. And there's two different versions of this. Later on in the series, there are two episodes that have a much different version that people say was because it was too scary that they had to, like, edit it for content or something. I don't know. It just seems very weird. To be honest, I prefer the original version. Not because, like, how scary it is. I'm not really a big fan of that. But it's shorter, apparently. I think the edited version is actually quite a long event. But yeah. I mean, it's not as long as Lil Bo Peep. So yeah. Where's the bear? She's right there! Oh god. Oh my god, that scary close-up. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Catch me! Run, bear, run. I have to end it here at this part right after this chase scene. Yeah, it's a chase scene. Ow. 
Okay, I'm gonna end it right here.